Ben, can you please go online because I miss, miss you very much. I miss you. Miss you. I'm not I miss you very, very much. This bad. Yes. Okay. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. Ignore the intro. It's just a Norwegian crazy girl left that on my Skype trolling me. So that's my revenge. So take that, Sarah. Anyway, we've got the orbital construction mod. You can see this is sped up because my intro was about five minutes long. And yeah, I think you guys get bored of me waffling on. So if you don't know what it is, you can pretty it's kinda of like the extraplanetary launch mod where you can build from space. Uh, as long as you've got the parts um identifying this as a space dock, it becomes a space dock and you need f rocket parts which are stored in these orange containers uh, you can either ship them up or convert caffeine into rocket parts and that's pretty much the mod so yeah as long as you've got enough rocket parts in the containers then you can launch your ships from the VAB and they'll teleport basically over to the space dock wherever it may be and that's it Okie dokie, so we are in orbit and this is also the second day of recording. Um, we came in at a different orbit angle, not not equatorial, but I did it off camera, just set Ike as target. We're 0 point, oh, 0 0.5 off now. But yeah, all we have to do is do that, go to the ascending node, hit the 180 and it was about 27 degrees off so it took a bit of a burn. But there we go, pretty equatorial, and we we're just about to go over the top actually, but you won't see them on the surface. So yeah, I've already explained this, so I don't really know why I bothered bringing you back here. 
other than to say who's here I guess so we've got Lewis Watt and Jared Twirtle they're in there and then inside the hitchhiker container we've got Colonel Adam, Mr Nonsense, James Cabin and Brian and I didn't even know this had an IVA I haven't been in here for so long but they seem happy enough I think they're high on the uh, space dust. So yeah, now I'm going to, because we only have ten parts altogether. Uh, it's not really enough to build anything worth launching. So I'm gonna go make a caffeine transport shuttle, and we'll go collect some caffeine. And if there's time, I'll bring caffeine up here. Uh, I might make it just one big tank like this so we get these two half full oh yeah I've also got these here these are like vaporizers they vaporize kerbals and turn them into caffeine so I was thinking yeah, if we capture prisoners of war we can uh, bring them up here and vaporize them into fuel and rocket parts recycle the Kerbal Prisoners so that would be quite dark and devious so yeah, I'm going to quickly build a caffeine transport ship get it sent down there we'll go pick up some caffeine and refuel this and then if there's time I'll launch something from here and show you how it works uh, probably Jake Wolf's ship I still haven't put it in the game and checked it out yet though but yeah, I've seen him commenting a couple of times asking about his ship and if he's going to be on it, so... I'll try to get that done today, Jake, and if not, it'll be next episode. But I'll see you guys soon, anyway. Okay, so the caffeine shuttle didn't go quite to plan. This is kind of a montage. There's probably around four designs here. All of them failing. Uh, not because of the game, but me most of them it's because of the fuel load and power like I didn't have enough to get back up into orbit and a few bad designs like that one where it blew up but yeah, I'll just leave you to it it's just I just thought I'd include my fails so you know you know I, I don't get everything perfect but this was literally just me being an idiot and not really thinking so yeah although that was a pretty cool landing I put that one in there as a win <laughs> but the rest is just yeah so I'll put some stupid music with this because it's stupid flying by me there is a little scene though where um, we run out of fuel and there's three of you guys I believe in there yeah this one um, I save you guys you've got no fuel so I get a guy out repack the parachutes and rescue you. The ship doesn't make it but the cockpit survives. But yeah that'll do and I'll leave you with a bit of silly music for the rest. And then I do have a winning ship at the end which actually works so I'll see you then.
Okay guys, um, I've been filming this video over three or four days now. Um, I've had so many problems and issues lately. Every time I'm using a... Oh yeah, we're coming into dock by the way, I just parked up before. I've actually been docking a few times. But uh, the caffeine conversion rate to rocket parts is ridiculously small. It's so hard. Um, so I've been messing with the part file trying to get a decent conversion rate. At the moment there's 303 parts in each side. Uh, out of a possible 400 but that's it's literally been like 20 ducks. It's ridiculous. Um, so anyway let's just... Let me get this. I don't know why I'm bothering lining up with the horizon. Actually, do you know what I haven't used ever with the laser mod? It's the cameras. So you should use the cameras. That'd be fun. Put some lights on. Cool. So, yeah, I'm going to dock in now. Uh, I'm not sure how much I've edited the video. I had so many different designs of this. you probably see a few of the crashes. Anyway, this docking camera is pretty cool. I never use them usually. Just line it up. 0 0.1 seconds. Take them off. We'll be fine. Should be fine anyway. Or did I just totally screw it up? I don't know. No, we're good. Sort of. Didn't want to magnetize. There we go. So we're docked. I've changed the conversion rate one last time to see if this one makes any difference. Oh, now the lights are all back to front. Oh no, that's cool. So this is the moment of truth. So I've got zero caffeine in here. <coughs> and it's 303. And we've got 3,460 caffeine here to convert so let's see how many parts we get so let's activate conversion ah I think I might have found a good conversion rate it may be a bit cheaty but I don't want to spend like 20 okay maybe not oh, it was still a bit better but as you can see that was I put a conversion rate pretty high and we only got 35 out of 3,000 I wonder if I put it to 50 because that's 9.99 it was 0 0.99 but yeah I wonder if I put a conversion rate to 50 it would give us half of what is in here ideally I want it just to be a one or one dock refuel so I'll mess about with that off camera again like later. I think we've got enough to launch something cool. But yeah, I don't know how much of a mess this video is going to be because I haven't been checking what I've recorded. I know I've deleted so much footage as well. So, that looks pretty cool though. But yeah, this is the uh, caffeine little hauler. It's got its own little drills here and just two tanks. And I went for the nuclear like cluster engines that I kind of buffed a little so I'm actually going to leave that here for now it doesn't need to move right now so let's go test this out I'll see you over at the space center we'll go maybe launch D1 interceptor from here so I'll see you guys in a sec okay so I've just loaded it up um, I'm thinking about putting landing legs on but then I need loads of parachutes and stuff so nah we just have these orbiting in space so all I need to do is stick this on anywhere and then we can hit the launch pad and then just go launch it from the space dock so I'm going to stick it under the the belly and I'll see you guys at the launch pad Okay, so we're at the launch pad. See when you stick that on. 
for some reason you can't get rid of this until you you've launched like you might not want to do that but okay only takes 36 that's pretty good so we scan for docks sometimes it's going to take a while I I read that uh, wasn't too bad so yeah so now I can just orbital space dock and obviously if I've got five of these around the solar system we can just pick any one we want so I click that yeah and then I go to build that selected dock and then we should disappear any second and be one kilometer away or so from the space dock yep there we go so there we go there it works okay I've cut to I've done a little rendezvous uh, we don't dock but I wanted to use the Gatling guns test them out so I quick saved and yeah I wanted to blow this up to see how good they were and it's pretty fun we pretty much took like all the major parts out there's a lot of debris left after flying around which is cool so it doesn't vaporize them and then I loaded the quick save just to make sure it was still in one piece but yeah the video went on for another 15 minutes so I decided to cut it here and just speed this little part up and I noticed our orbit was like 90 to 50 which wasn't very nice but yeah next episode um, I won't record it over a few days and I'll just have it nice and organised. This is a bit of a mess, but thanks for watching and I'll catch you next episode.